As an acrylic painter, my brushes are like my family. Some I love, some I hate, and some are just a little weird. Sit back, relax, because this is everything you need to know about brushes in less than five minutes. Now when you visit your local art store, you're probably going to see something that looks like this. And while that may be nice and they may be labeled as student, professional, artist, whatever, it may seem still a little bit confusing. So you have to think, okay, what brush do I really need? Now, if you're using oil paint, most people are going to tell you that you want stiff, natural hair bristles. Now, the reason they tell you that is because the oils, particularly the linseed oil, uh, might cause some weird reactions with the uh, synthetic bristles in certain cheaper and even some professional grade brushes. And for that reason, you're going to want something Maybe not so much stiffer, because depending on how you're painting, you may want something a little more smooth. But generally, a natural hair bristle for oils is kind of what you want. Now, if you're using watercolors, you're going to be looking for synthetic bristles and brushes with generally short handles. Now, the reason they go for the short handles is because you're going to be using it more like a pencil to get detailed areas than you would in much broader, wider strokes. Now, some people are going to say when using acrylics, you should only use synthetic bristles, and they're wrong. An acrylic brush can be really whatever you want it to be. I have oil brushes, I have watercolor brushes, I have regular acrylic brushes, I use all of them for my acrylics. And whether it's natural or synthetic bristles for acrylic, it really comes down to what is the overall look you're going for. Uh, what is the perceived texture, what is the idea that you're really trying to convey. And that is really going to help you pick your brushes a little bit better. Now the best way to compare brushes is to pick up some kind of an art catalog, something from Blick or Utrecht or one of the other major retailers, to really kind of give you an idea of all the different sizes and shapes and different kinds of brushes. But real fast, let's go through a few. Now your basic painting involves three main brushes. Flat, filbert, and round. Some people also may throw an angle to that, and most angles are smaller than this, but generally speaking, a flat brush is basically just an angle. You also may find some other brushes useful, certain specialty brushes. The liner brush, also called rigger or script, the fan brush, and the mop brush. And while my collection of brushes may seem kind of intimidating and large, really those are all just variations on those same six brush types. And before I forget, a couple of painting or palette knives, always good to pick up too. Uh, they're not necessarily brushes per se, but they fit right in the same category. So that's really all you need to know about brushes. If you're looking for something, uh, you don't really know what to choose, which brush, this one, this one, this one, maybe some of these, some of these, pick yourself up a starter pack, They're usually right next to the other brushes in your art store. And as always, for more tips, tutorials, and other art videos, subscribe to the channel. This has been from DMC Films and Cinderblock Studios. See you guys next time.